Iraq and Iran. We have to remember that the problems that have beset the Assyrian people, the genocide that happened that was committed by the Ottoman Turks, that those problems are still continuing today. And we also have to remember that around the time of the First World War, it wasn't just the Assyrians who suffered at the hands of the Ottoman Turks, it was also the Armenians and the Pontian Greeks. And they continue to oppress people today. They have illegally occupied the northern part of Cyprus, where they are repressing the Greek Cypriot people, where they are desecrating Christian churches. They continue with the behaviour that we all know so well. And it's a great pity that the broader community here in Australia and the broader community worldwide do not recognise that this oppression continues today and that they do not condemn Turkey for not accepting responsibility for their acts of the past and their continued acts of oppression today. But these celebrations by the Australian Assyrian community are a time to rejoice at the renewal of life, at new beginnings and the start of another year. These festivities provide a great opportunity for families and friends to embrace the Assyrian culture and to honour your ancient traditions. Australia is home to people from many different backgrounds and religions and we are all united by our commitment to equity and social justice and to democracy and freedom, especially for religious freedom. Here at the Assyrian New Year Festival, it is great to be able to celebrate the contributions of the Assyrian Australian community to our shared cultural richness and economic prosperity. We are all proud of the cultural diversity of Australian society and I believe that that is one of our great strengths. I would like to recognise the efforts of the Assyrian Australian community in contributing to these strengths at events such as this festival. I commend the Assyrian Australian National Federation and the Assyrian Universal Alliance for organising today's festival and for con continuing to ensure that we have a cohesive and united Assyrian community here in Australia. I'm also proud that the New South Wales Parliament is continuing to recognise and support many communities in Australia who have been the victims of genocide and who have, like many Assyrians, been forced from their homelands. And I want to assure everyone here today that that support has always been and will always continue to be bipartisan. I have to say that I'm sad to note that Ninos Kashaba will no longer be representing Smithfield in the New South Wales Parliament. Ninos established the New South Wales Parliamentary Friends of Assyria and was instrumental in bringing the plight of the Assyrian people to the forefront during his term in the New South Wales Legislative Assembly. Ninos is a fine example of what young Australian Assyrians can achieve. And I wish him well in his future and I'm sure that we will keep the New South Wales Parliamentary Friends of Assyria as an active organisation and I'm pretty sure the first person to put his hand up to become a new member will be the new member for Smithfield, Andy Rohan. And I congratulate Andy and I welcome him to the, uh, to the uh, New South Wales Parliament. It is my sincere wish that all those attending this Assyrian New Year Festival have a peaceful and prosperous new year and I look forward to meeting you all again at future uh, celebrations organised by the Australian Assyrian community and let's look forward to making sure that we all get the message out about what has happened to the Assyrian people in the past, what is continuing to happen and that we demand justice for the Assyrian people. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fazio. We would now like to call upon our newly elected member for Smithfield, Mr. Andrew Rohan. New South Wales. How Smithfield, 
من جب مخلت أسرالي يا أتخيرة ميقروت أت أندي روهن شباقد وبشاب بيقارة والهادخ إقارة لقى أنت طريتا إتهويلا هوا طرا يتريانا جو بارلمانت دغدانا نيو ساوث ويلز Thanks, Emmanuel. Mr. Hermes Shaheen, Deputy Secretary General of the Assyrian Universal Alliance. Mr. Simon Isavian, President of the Assyrian Australian National Federation. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't expecting uh, a speech today, but uh, I'm very proud to be here and celebrating the Assyrian New Year with our community and all of you present here. So, our forefathers have been celebrating this occasion for the last few millennia. It was a traditional festivities in our homeland where the land comes out of the fro frozen uh, soil of the winter into the new season of um, spring by giving life to, the, to everyone. So it was one of the most distinguished uh, occasions on the Assyrian calendar. By taking this occasion, I also like to thank the Smithfield voters for electing me to represent them in the New South Wales uh, Parliament and putting their trust in me. I'll be serving you very well. And also I'd like to acknowledge the contribution of the Assyrian community, the Chaldean and the Syriac communities, for the great support they've given me through this my campaign. And finally, I'd like to, to call, uh, to wish everyone here a very happy Assyrian New Year. If I may say a few words in the Assyrian language. Khaiqara gura le qati qat sharik na mokhon idiyuma gudazu yakha et rishi taturaya. قلبش این آواهاتن قدمای پیش نا خمیو آهاید آسالبراشن اتیل آدر پریزنت قط پلاطخ من سیت و الجو بنیسانه هرگز زروت پلاط لای و خا اقارا جورا خا خادو تا خا ایدا جورا جو امتا عطرتا و اختر باین برخن ریشی تا خون باین خا خادو تا کل خون و امروز نخواهیم تن رابر را بسیم هتی قم های ریتونی لی بدن پرسیات قط ماسن آمن هدام خاتا از میثفیل جو پارلمان نیو ساوث ویلز. هر هدف با کل هدام تخیانت میثفیل آن ووترز قم ادیلی سپورت خی قار جورله قط ماسن آمن رپرزنت جو نیو ساوث ویلز پارلمان. هتی بسیم رابر و کل شیت اب خادو تا. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rohan, and congratulations. We would now like to call upon our next speaker, who is well known for his love and devotion for the Christian faith and for his courage in supporting the Assyrian struggle in the Middle East. Please welcome the President of the Christian Democratic Party, the Honourable Reverend Fred Nile, MLC. <laughs> How do you know? Rachel Gabba, Democrat, I am Shikhaya. It's Hamasha, Kiel, 